Hi, we're here at Connect Tech, and we're talking about UI architecture a lot in preparation for UI Archon. I'm here with Lori Barth, and I'm going to ask her a couple questions. Lori, what do you think a UI architect does? So it's their job to kind of, from the start, make overarching big picture decisions and considerations for what the UI code base is going to look like going forward, both in the short term and the long term into the future. Okay, so when you think of a UI architect, what are the different hats do you think a UI architect wears at a company? Yeah, so they've got to think about a lot of things. They've got to think about accessibility considerations, potential for internationalization. They've got to think about security, compatibility for what browsers they're going to support, what kind of mobile devices, or even um, iPad, Service Pro, that kind of thing. And they need to have a long-term view about how they're going to be able to refactor and add things into this application as they improve on features and change the direction that it might go. So, Lori, if you are, let's say, a senior developer at a company, how do you think that you could go about becoming a UI architect? What are some of the skills you think, like a developer would need to acquire, to or like work on and you know hone skills on to become a UI architect? Yeah, it's about seeing a lot of different patterns. It's about seeing things go right, seeing things go wrong. It's about having a wealth of experiences so that you can make these long-term choices and feel like you're not coding yourself into a corner or setting your team up to do more work later down the road. All right, thanks, Lori. Yeah, thanks.